сайн байна уу намайг төрсэн зэ яг гэдэг тэгээд би монгол 7 олон хөөхтүүд одоо даа давшгийн хүнд ачаа үүрч амдирч байна тэгээд тэд хизээч цадаж бас хизээч хинээч хайрлуулж үзье in mongolia are a lot of children who have never known what love is who have nobody who loves them who don't know what it means to have a full stomach who have a lot to carry and have a lot of wounds kids who have a lot of sorrows I would like to tell you about one girl who lives with us now. Her name is Oyuna. She came 2007 when she was nine to Alpha Communities. When she came to us, she was nine but looked like she was only four years old. She was very malnourished and severely abused. She didn't want to talk to anybody. It seemed like she couldn't feel anything. She couldn't cry and be sad. She couldn't laugh and be happy. She didn't express any emotions at all. She would never play with other kids, but only play quietly alone in the corner. Before she came to us, she lived with her family, with her parents and her sister. Her father was an alcoholic and seldom sober. Her mother had a very hard and abused life. One day, her mother couldn't take it anymore and committed suicide in front of Oyuna. She saw when her mother took poison and soon afterwards died. After that, her father kept drinking and spent most of his time outside on the street. Shortly afterwards, Oyuna's grandmother, who had helped her a lot, died. The father's relatives took her grudgingly in. She lived with them, but was not accepted as one of them. She was beaten, was always on the outside, was cursed every day. Everything that had happened, that her mother committed suicide, that grandma had died, all of that, they told her, was her fault. She was a bad girl. For almost two years, she spent her days sitting in a small, dark storage room. At that time, she contracted TB, and because of that, she was shunned even more. Whenever she left her small storage room and took a cup or plate, people would get angry because she had a contagious disease. They didn't want to have her around. That's when Alpha heard about her and we went to visit her and took her with us to this foster home. This is now eight years ago. Oyuna has changed a lot since then. She is at peace with her past. She can also see now that life can be happy, full of color and joy, and that she herself is valuable. She's really good in school and loves to help others. She can laugh, play, and be happy. She especially loves children and wants to see other children happy, and she has repeatedly expressed her gratitude for taking her and helping her. She's a great baker, but she would love to study social work to be able to later help families and children in need. She has lived through hell and would like to show others, who also do, that there's a way out. <laughs>